In Luke chapter 12, verses 49 and 50, Jesus, during his earthly ministry, gave his disciples an insight, insight into the twin emotions in Jesus that prompted the cross. Jesus went to the cross voluntarily. It was his plan from before time began. And yet it was laden with emotion. There are two emotions here in Luke 12, 49 and 50 that reveal what is going on at the cross. The first emotion is the anger of Jesus at sin. The anger of Jesus at sin. And the second emotion that prompted the cross is the love of Jesus for sinners. I want you to see both of those. Here's what Jesus says. Luke 12, 49. I have come to cast fire upon the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But, but I have a baptism to undergo, and how distressed I am until it is accomplished. What is Jesus saying here? One of the fundamental reasons why the Son of God comes to the earth is to judge. Jesus comes to the earth to judge, to set fire to the ungodly, to destroy those who are rebels. But another reason that Jesus comes to the earth is to rescue, to rescue sinners who will believe in his plan of rescue, who will trust in him for salvation from the very anger he will come to exhibit. And so there are two comings of Jesus. Jesus will come to judge. He will come to cast fire on the earth. He will come to destroy rebels. But Jesus came a first time, not for judgment, but for rescue. When he says in verse 50, I have a baptism to undergo, he's not talking about water baptism. He uses the same word to describe what it will be like for Jesus himself to be immersed under the wrath of Almighty God in the place of sinners. Literally, he says, I have an immersion to be immersed by, and how distressed I am until it is accomplished. What is Jesus saying? Jesus is saying he will go to the cross to be judged for sin. The one who will judge sin at the end of time is the one who is judged for sin for everyone who will believe. Friends, you're here this morning. And some of you are here this morning and you live in the benefit of Jesus' rescue. You have been rescued. Jesus has borne the penalty of your sin, so there is no more penalty to give. There is no more wrath to be poured out. There is no more fire to be kindled. And so for you here this morning who have been forgiven, who have entered into relationship with God through Jesus Christ, we will drink juice and we will eat bread to commemorate Jesus' blood and his body which purchased that rescue. And some of you are here this morning who still abide under coming judgment. This communion, this remembrance of Jesus' death is not for you. If you have not believed, if you have not been forgiven, if you still hold out against God and his grace and his kindness, just know, friends, that you are on borrowed time. And there is a time coming when Jesus will kindle that fire. While it is still today, repent, believe, turn to Jesus. And if it would be this morning that you would turn to him in faith and repentance, then drink this juice and eat this bread to remember what Jesus has done for all who believe. The men are going to come at this time and distribute those elements and hold on to those and we'll take them together.